welcome to another video and let's solve this nice exponential coupled with factorial for the value of n so i'm going to use two different methods to solve this and i'm only solving for the natural number of this so which means we can still use uh, we can still find the complex roots when we apply the numerical method so let's see method one of solving this you know so let's say i introduce the natural logarithm which is ln of we have n factorial plus uh here is ln of n equals ln of n to the power n so on getting this we are going to apply some basic law of logarithm here we have ln of n factorial plus here is ln of n equals so if n comes down we have ln of n and the next thing to do here is we transfer ln of n into uh, the other side we have ln of n factorial equals n ln of n minus ln of n so the next thing we are going to do here is if this remains ln of n factorial equals you know ln is common here by factorizing it out we have ln of n and uh, we have this as n minus 1 so the next thing we are going to do is you know from the basic rules of factorial that this l n factorial it can be written as n factorial equals n bracket n minus one factorial and it continues like that but this is what what i need here then by replacing it in this we have ln of uh, we have n of n minus 1 factorial equals while this is ln of we have n of n minus 1 so on getting this we know that we have ln at the two sides so we can just simply cancel ln thereby we have n bracket n minus 1 factorial equals n bracket n minus 1 and the next thing is n cancelled n here we have n minus 1 factorial equals n minus 1 and again i still going to apply the rules of factorial with n minus 1 factorial here so we also say but n minus 1 factorial equals n minus 1 bracket open bracket n minus 2 factorial so we are going to replace it above here we have n minus 1 bracket n minus 2 factorial equals n minus 1 and we can define both sides by n minus 1 or we simply cancel it here we have n minus 2 factorial equals 1 and we know here we need the value of n so what to do is so we also know that if you have zero factorial equals to one so we just try to replace it in the above step which is n minus two factorial equals zero factorial and if factorial eliminate factorial here therefore we have n minus two equals zero and we have n equals to two so which is the solution to this problem and being the first method to solve this in other way uh, which is method two as i've stated earlier that i'm going to use two different methods so this method we are going to use by a gamma functions method so we are going to apply the gamma function to solve this um, question for the second method and we know the question says 
if you have gamma of let's say we have gamma of n plus one this equals n factorial and by recall from the question which is n factorial plus n equals n raised to power n and i've applied this uh, above that n factorial is just like gamma of n plus one plus n everything equals n raised to power n and with this step we can now assume that let's say we have when n equals to 2 so by substituting it in this we have it as gamma of 2 plus 1 plus n which is 2 equals 2 raised to the power of 2 and we know this gamma of 2 plus 1 is just like 2 plus 2 and 2 plus 2 equals 2 raised to the power of 2 which is 4 therefore um, we solve this by gamma and we get the result of n equals to 2 and note that um, if you try to substitute it in this question which is n equals to 2 we are going to get the answer which is what we have in the bracket above so remember i said earlier that i only solve it for the real solutions so we can still solve this by a complex solutions we can still obtain the complex solution for this problem by applying some numerical method thanks for watching and don't forget to please subscribe to this channel for more exciting videos like this if you have another way of doing this you can drop it and constructive criticism is allowed thank you and i will see you in the next class Bye.